Please. Um, I'm super proud of our team for um, playing as hard as they did for 40 minutes. Uh, obviously, we didn't execute what we needed to execute, and that was because of uh, you know the challenge that that Baylor posed for our team. Um, but proud of their effort, proud of being able to sit here um, and participate in the second weekend of the NCAA tournament. Uh, we look forward to uh, a brighter future. Questions for the student athletes, and please designate who the, the question's for. Any questions for the student athletes, please? The uh, fourth row. Jerry Hill, Baylor Bear Insider. Alexis, can you just talk about the inside matchup and, and I guess with Kalani and Lauren, how difficult that is, you know, containing them? Um, it was pretty difficult, you know. The, we're giving up a lot of height advantage with them, um, but I feel like we did the best that we could. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Any other questions? Thank you, ladies. Questions for uh, Coach Staley. In the third row on the left. Chad Conan, Waco Tribune Herald. Um, with all the things with, about Baylor that you have to defend, when Didi Richards has pops up and has an offensive night like she has tonight. Does that make it that much harder to contain them? Um, I mean, yeah. I mean, their their guards are solid, you know. Obviously, if uh, given the opportunity, um, you know, they take advantage of the opportunities that they have. Um, I, I thought we just got our, our defense off balance a little bit, especially when we took some shots and it allowed DD to get out and get some transition buckets um, that were uncontested. Questions for Coach? Over here on the right. Yeah, Coach, David Newton with ESPN.com. You obviously know what a national championship team looks like. What does Baylor look like to you right now? Um, I mean, Baylor has all the, the key ingredients is to be a, a national champion. They got size, they have athleticism, um, you know, they have uh, an ability to beat you in a lot of different places, you, you, you definitely have to game plan for them and you have to adjust to how uh, their style of play. Um, and that's, you know, their load. Uh, we, we didn't, we had post players that were, you know, not as big, but as imposing. Um, and that led us to a, a national championship, although they didn't play in the same game. Just the, you know, the day-to-day -day, um, beat down that we imposed on other, other teams was, you know, was a great thing to experience and not so much when it's, you're on the other side of it. In the fourth row. Coach, uh, y'all had kind of dug a big hole, got back to within like 14, 15, and then, you know, I think Baylor reeled off. Were, were you feeling like you're back in it at that point? I mean, you'd gotten it back down to 15, 16 points. Um, I, I thought we had some momentum. Um, yeah, and then we, you know, I don't think, I think we missed a free throw that could got us down to 15. Um, I mean, here's the, here's the bottom line, you know, that we didn't really harp on as a, as a staff, and you just don't want to put that much pressure on your, your, your young team and that only, you know, maybe three players have experienced being in the Sweet 16, actually being in the Sweet, three or four players, um, and the roles that, some of the ones that didn't, wasn't a part of those uh, Sweet 16s and those Elite Eights and the Final Fours, this is their first time. And to ask them to perform at a high, at a high level against a you know, national championship contender team you know, was a bit much, but we didn't want to mention that. But when you actually have to you know, decompress and look at it, you know, it it's, it's hard you know, for them to have to be able to to do that at this level. So I'm, I'm pretty encouraged by the returning players and I'm encouraged by you know some of the future players that we have coming into our program that 
we'll have enough experience if we're able to get back to this level of basketball. In the front row. Don, looking back on this season with, you know, all of the newness that you mentioned so much, what are some of the other buzzwords that will describe this season once you, you kind of wrap everything up? Um, I, I think we've achieved where the, the potential of this team. I don't think we, we, we lacked the potential. Um, I, I thought getting to the second weekend of this tournament would be, you know, a real goal for us. I didn't say that out loud, obviously, but – I thought it was a real goal, that attainable goal uh, to reach for. Um, obviously, we wanted to end somewhere else like Tampa, but we just didn't have enough. When you look at you know, what was on our roster, you look at the inexperience of players who had to make an impact for us consistently, um, the depth of our roster, um, the injuries in the beginning of the season, it was just hard to build that chemistry. So once we got healthy, I thought we, we could get – you know, to this game. And if we got to this game, you know, we had to play almost perfect basketball to, to advance. Any more questions for Coach in the front? And also, Don, you will have some experienced uh, players, some seniors like Cooper and Harrigan and, and Harris next year. Are those automatically your leaders for next year? Or is that something you have to impress upon them? When does that leadership training start? Well, I, they make their debut. Today, right now, this is this is this is it. This is it for them. They're they're seniors. Um, they got one more year to perform for us. Um, so they're auditioning for, you know, who's going to be the leader of our our team um, in this next year. Over here on the left, Debbie Stroman, WCHL. Don, can you speak to your rivalry with Kim, two former great point guards now leading great programs? Um, well, the rivalry is, is uh, lopsided. You know, we're all in two. Um, but I, I think Kim's done a great job at um, making a huge transition. And I know she's been doing this for a very long time, from being a great point guard uh, to a great coach, a national championship coach. And, you know, I think we give hope to some um, other current players and other former players that it, it can get done. Um, as far as being successful in the coaching ranks um, and impacting young people's lives on a daily basis is something that uh, I guess we have been impacted by the the coaches and the you know the the mentors that have been in our lives at a young age that allows us to to have some success um, while returning a favor to some young people. Any more questions, Coach? Thank you. Thank you.